In 2008, in the geological area of Pisco Formation in southern Peru, one of the world's most famous fossil gold mines, an unexpected discovery changed the entire scientific understanding of ancient predators in the ocean. Klaus Post, a fisherman and fossil curator at the Natural History Museum of Rotterdam, accidentally discovered during a field survey what was later considered the remains of the most powerful predatory whale that ever existed in Earth's history. Before him and his archaeological team was a giant skull nearly 3 meters long along with sharp teeth up to 36.2 centimeters long, longer than any known carnivore teeth including T. rex or even megalodon. In particular, many other surrounding teeth also reached 30-32 centimeters surpassing both sperm whales and killer whales today. This is not just a fossil, but a vivid confirmation that a completely new species of monster once ruled the ocean. In response to the weight of this discovery, the research team in 2010 published the results in a scientific journal and named the new creature Leviathan Melvilli. The name Leviathan is borrowed from the biblical sea monster, a symbol of destruction, and Melvilli is a tribute to Herman Melville, author of the novel Moby Dick, a classic about the pursuit of giant whales. However, because the name Leviathan had been used before to refer to another fossil species of the Mastodon family, the official name was adjusted to Leviathan Melvillei to distinguish it and gain acceptance by the international scientific community. This is not simply the discovery of a new species. This is a milestone that re-establishes the map of the apex predators of the Miocene Ocean. Leviathan Melville was not a gentle creature or a small-scale predator. On the contrary, all the evidence from the skull teeth and jaw structure points to a perfect hunting machine possessing the longest and most deadly teeth ever recorded in a mammal. In an era when Megalodon was considered the king of the ocean, the appearance of Liviaton turned everything upside down. The question is, is there another predator strong enough to challenge Megalodon's throne? Liviaton Melville was not only amazing for its large teeth, but also for its enormous body size and hunting ability that was extremely different from modern whales. Based on analysis of fossilized skulls and other body parts, paleontologists estimate that this whale was between 13.5 meters and 16. 5 meters long and weighed around 57 tons, about the same as an adult male sperm whale today. However, the difference was in the structure and purpose of its body parts. Unlike sperm whales, which only have teeth in their lower jaws and usually swallow their prey whole rather than bite them, Liviaton had huge sharp teeth in both its upper and lower jaws. This structure allowed it to grip, crush, and tear large creatures, a trait extremely rare in toothed whales. In particular, with its large, thick conical teeth, Liviatan could hold its struggling prey, ensuring that its attack was fatal from the first attempt. The next difference is the structure of the skull and jaw muscles. The fossil skull of Liviatan is not only massive, but also has a very clear jaw muscle position, showing that it had an extremely strong bite force, enough to crush the bones of other whales or large sharks. Scientists believe that Liviatan's diet was very rich and violent, from small 7-10 meter long bearded whales to shark seals and large vertebrates living in the deep sea. This is a completely different feature compared to most whales today, which mainly eat small creatures or sea squid by swallowing them whole. In addition, Liviaton also had a very wide habitat, appearing not only in tropical areas, but also spreading to temperate seas covering most of the northern hemisphere. This suggests that it was not a passive migrant, but an active predator that dominated its habitat fearless of any opponent below the surface of the sea. This biological structure made Liviaton a symbol of power and survival at the top of the food chain during the Miocene. With such fearsome features, it is no surprise that scientists have placed Liviaton on par with Megalodon and even suggested that it could have been a direct competitor in hunting and dominating the oceans. But was Liviaton's body strength and teeth enough to overcome a notorious predator like Megalodon, 
That question will be clarified in the next section when we compare each element between these two super predators. One of the things that makes Liviatan Melville special in the eyes of paleontologists is not only its biological structure, but also the time period in which it existed. Based on fossil data and geological dating, Liviatan is believed to have lived between 10 and 5 million years ago, right at the peak of Megalodon, the giant shark that was famous for dominating the ocean. The fact that these two top predators existed at the same time opens up an intriguing prospect. Did they ever clash in the wild? And if so, who would have been the ultimate ruler? Megalodon, with an average length of about 15 meters weighing over 50 tons, equipped with a giant jaw that could open wide enough to swallow five adults at once and more than 300 razor-sharp teeth was the perfect model of a predatory killer. Its bite force is estimated to be between 100,000 and 180,000 newtons, far exceeding the giant crocodile Dinosuchus and even stronger than the T-Rex. With its fast, unexpected attack speed and deadly bite, Megalodon not only dominated the ocean physically, but also dominated the food chain absolutely for millions of years. However, the appearance of Liviatan Melville, with its similar size giant teeth and active predatory nature, was a great challenge to Megalodon's throne. And it is worth mentioning that both species were found in the same fossil stratum, such as the Pisco Formation in Peru, showing that they not only lived at the same time, but also possibly in the same habitat, meaning that competition was completely real. This has created a huge debate in the scientific community, as well as paleontology enthusiasts. If a battle between Liviaton and Megalodon happened, who would win? On one side is the shark with its superior bite force, and lightning-fast attack on the other side is the whale with higher intelligence, better movement speed, and thick layers of fat to protect internal organs. The confrontation between these two apex predators is not science fiction, but based on archaeological data, a scenario that could have happened in nature millions of years ago. However, Modern science does not have enough evidence to confirm which one had absolute dominance. Both were high-level predators, had large territories and rich diets, showing that the possibility of conflict was there, but not often. The encounters, if they do happen, will not be like the epic battles in the movies, but rather tactical, unexpected and local confrontations, where speed timing and strategy can decide the outcome in a matter of seconds. So, if you were standing in a time machine witnessing the Miocene Ocean, you would most likely see a scene never recorded in history. Two ancient sea monsters, Liviaton and Megalodon, facing off in an unsolved battle for survival. And that is also the reason why this topic has always made the online community and the scientific community discuss endlessly, not because we have the answer, but because we have never seen that great battle and everyone has their own reasons for choosing sides. In terms of speed and hunting tactics, two factors that determine the ability to actively attack or avoid a fatal blow, Liviatan Melville unexpectedly possesses a superior advantage, causing many researchers to reconsider Megalodon's dominant position. Based on its anatomical characteristics and close evolutionary relationship with sperm, Whales paleontologists estimate that Liviaton had an average swimming speed of about 10 km h, and when necessary could reach a maximum speed of up to 40 km h, an extremely impressive number for an animal weighing nearly 60 tons. This speed allowed it to actively approach prey or quickly retreat from danger something that Megalodon, with its bulky and heavy body, could not easily do. Meanwhile. Megalodon was once thought to be an extremely agile predator, with the assumption that it could maintain high speeds thanks to its ability to maintain a stable body temperature, a feature of warm-blooded animals similar to modern great white sharks. However, a groundbreaking study in 2023 by paleontologist Kenshu Shimada overturned this hypothesis. Based on an analysis of rare fossilized placoid scales of Megalodon, he showed that the aerodynamic characteristics of the skin 
did not match the body structure of a fast swimmer. Specifically, the grooves that help reduce water drag common in high-speed sharks were rare or absent in megalodon specimens. From this, he concluded that megalodon probably moved at an average speed of only 1 to 2 km h, which is even slower than swimmer Michael Phelps in his normal state. This poses an interesting paradox. A predator with terrible teeth like Megalodon lacked the speed to pursue prey for a long time. Of course, it is possible that Megalodon could reach high speeds in a short time to pounce, but with its large size and body structure not optimal for acceleration, such attacks would have had to be precise and unexpected. In contrast, Liviathan could not only maintain higher speeds, but also be flexible in movement, suitable for hunting and pursuing targets at close range. In terms of tactics, Megalodon is believed to have used an ambush strategy and attacked from below aiming for the weak belly of its prey, usually small whales or large sea turtles. However, against a stubborn opponent like Liviathan, which had a thick layer of fat like today's whales, plus sharp jaws, and the ability to actively fight back, Megalodon's surprise attack strategy would hardly be completely effective. Meanwhile, Liviatan was able to approach its prey from the side using both its upper and lower jaws to bite down causing major injuries and then finishing it off with a powerful twist of the neck, a tactic that is considered highly effective in the deep sea hunting environment. In short, if the battle between these two ancient predators occurred in open space and had time to move, Liviathan clearly had the advantage in terms of speed mobility and the ability to fight proactively. Meanwhile, Megalodon could only prevail if the confrontation occurred suddenly in a narrow range and ended quickly with a fatal bite. This made the situation between the two sides unpredictable. It depended entirely on the timing location and tactical choices of each individual. When it comes to the battle between two Miocene super predators, the key factors cannot be ignored. Bite force and defensibility. Two opposites that can decide the survival in a real confrontation. In this aspect, Megalodon continues to show incredible superiority thanks to its huge jaws and tooth structure optimized for penetration and crushing. Studies show that Megalodon had an estimated bite force of up to 180,000 newtons, which is many times more than that of modern crocodiles and even surpasses Tyrannosaurus rex, the symbol of power in the dinosaur world. With such a bite force, just one bite hitting a weak area such as the dorsal fin gills or neck Megalodon can completely cause serious damage or kill the opponent in the blink of an eye. In contrast, although Liviathan also possessed a large skull and formidable teeth, the jaw structure of whales in general did not support the maximum opening of the mouth like that of sharks. This made it difficult for Liviathan to deliver a deep and wide bite from the first time forcing it to approach with a continuous bite-pull-strike approach instead of knocking down its opponent with just a single blow. However, this weakness was the premise for another strategy. Fighting for a long time and taking advantage of its superior endurance and defense, Liviathan, like modern whales, was protected by a layer of subcutaneous fat up to tens of centimeters thick, which not only kept the body warm, but also acted as a natural biological armor. In the event of a surprise attack, this layer of fat could significantly reduce the impact of the bite, preventing Megalodon from reaching vital internal organs or paralyzing Liviatan immediately. Furthermore, if the battle dragged on, the advantage would gradually tilt toward Liviatan. The creature with larger lungs, a stronger heart, and a circulatory system optimized for sustained underwater activity. These are typical characteristics of marine mammals, which have evolved to hunt by stalking and wearing down their opponents over multiple encounters rather than killing them outright. A less discussed but extremely important factor is stamina and tactical adaptability, or in other words, intelligence. Liviathan, a toothed whale and closely related to the sperm whale, the species with the largest brain in the animal kingdom would likely have possessed the ability to remember assess situations and change strategies according to circumstances. 
in a life-or-death confrontation if Livyaton was smart enough to dodge the first blow and recognize the opening in Megalodon's attack it could turn the tables by exploiting its opponent's mistake. Meanwhile, Megalodon, despite being the ocean's number one killer, acted largely on instinct. There is no evidence that it possessed the tactical behavior or flexible learning ability of cetaceans. This means that if Livyaton had faced Megalodon multiple times in the past, it could have memorized and adapted even developing more effective defensive responses over time. In short, if the fight was a quick one with favorable ambush conditions, Megalodon could have taken down its opponent in seconds thanks to its superior bite force. But, if Livyaton reacted quickly and turned the fight into a long-term stalemate, where stamina, intelligence, and endurance became key factors, Livyaton would certainly not be easy to subdue. And this is precisely why this confrontation remains one of the most fascinating questions in paleontology, not who is absolutely stronger, but who knows how to use their strength at the right time. After all the analysis of size, bite force, speed defense ability, and especially intelligence, it can be seen that the confrontation between Livyaton Melville and Megalodon is not simply who is stronger wins. These are two creatures that stood at the absolute top of the ocean food chain millions of years ago. Each side has special advantages, but also fatal weaknesses. Megalodon is a cold killing machine with teeth like weapons of war, capable of delivering quick and decisive finishing blows. But Livyaton is a silent assassin, not only knowing how to attack, but also knowing how to learn dodge and take advantage of the enemy's weaknesses to turn the situation around. A confrontation between these two species, if it ever happened, would most likely not have been a long fierce battle, but rather a series of quick localized tactical clashes that ended with one side retreating not because it was weaker, but because it did not want to risk everything for a trivial wound. Based on all the analysis above, if one had to make an assumption about the outcome of the battle, Megalodon would have won if it could strike first and hit the target immediately something it has done with countless prey over millions of years. However, if that blow was avoided, or if the battle lasted more than a few minutes, Livyaton would gradually regain the initiative using its speed stamina and intelligence to counterattack. The ultimate winner would not necessarily be the stronger one, but the one who knew when to strike, when to dodge, and when to end things at the right time. And in the harsh survival puzzle of the ancient ocean Livyaton, may be the answer that is less noticed but not to be underestimated. Of course, this is just an analysis and assumption based on fossil evidence and existing scientific data. We cannot be sure who will win because no one has ever witnessed such a confrontation with their own eyes. But perhaps it is this ambiguity that makes the Livyaton, Megalodon, battle one of the most fascinating and thought-provoking legends of the paleontological world. And what about you? If you had to choose one of the two to bet on this final battle, who would you choose? Leave a comment below the video. Share your analysis perspective or feelings about this legendary confrontation. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next amazing discoveries about the ancient world where nature is not only brutal but also the art of evolution. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. See you on the next journey.